Hello guys, Mugas here. Me on the waypoint. What's up? Upstairs. I hope you're well. I'm sorry for the lack of news. But I have uh, much more videos planned. Today I wanted to react on the producer's letter and decide. Oh, we have Peter Dinklage here. Announcing that Daybreak game is now called Rock Planet Games. And they say that they're gonna focus only on the Planetside franchise. Which is freaking amazing. I hope Planetside means MMOFPS, not Battle Royale fail. So I'm gonna read the letter to you. Welcome to the genesis of Rogue Planet games. By definition, a rogue planet is a celestial object that's not gravitationally bound to any star or its origin. This perfectly illustrates our philosophy as a team and defines the games we create. We are unbound by convention, exploring new frontiers of creativity and always pushing the limits of our imagination to deliver unparalleled experiences for our players. Honestly, I like this name. I always thought Planetside 2 was uh, some kind of rebel FPS in the market because it's the only one with that massive scale. Even though the graphics are aging compared to new games, I still think its gameplay is completely unique and this is why I stick to it. So congrats uh, Rogue Planet Games. By the way, my rank name in my outfit NCIV is Rogue Leader. This has been decided by the outfit members. The other names are Insurgent and Rebels. <laughs> We're very NC style. So next, while the studio may be new, the Planetset franchise has been going strong for 17 years as we begin this new chapter. Yeah. We've taken several yeah, steps to prepare for an exciting future. Let's do this! This is hype! Hype! What do they have in plan? Is there hope for Planetside 2? Rock Planet Games will focus solely on the Planetside franchise and our dedicated community. While Daybreak will continue to act as a publisher and provide live operations and infrastructure support. Rock Planet Games own the vision of Planetside, present and future. As many of you have noticed over the past few months with Planetside 2, We've increased the frequency of our game updates, made an effort to reduce publish times by streamlining deployment processes, addressing lingering live service issues, and stepped up communication with our community. And I have to say that this is true, the last updates went very well. Even though I cannot buy a membership and I, so I cannot try the NSO stuff, it's adding some variety to the game. They added a new vehicle with the, with the Javelin from uh, Planetside Arena. Also the territory control. Now the factions have a reason to capture territory in between alerts. And I think it's a great step. I've seen much more fights near the Wobgate. On Indar, it's, it's still always the same thing at Tiailos. But when the server is populated, there is fights all over. So next, one aspect of the new studio we're most excited about is bringing our players into the fold like never before. As Rock Planet Games, we view ourselves as an indie studio that value our community in the highest reward. Really? That's nice of you. I didn't notice that they break. But I still have hope for the franchise. So I wish you the best. Next, we want to bring you into our day-to-day -day development process more across all disciplines. Programming, character, environment, art creation, systems and content design and any general nonsense that happens on a given day. We can't wait to start sharing more with you across our various social channels. Amazing! I hope they're gonna do more live streams. I miss so much the work in progress streams from the devs when they were building the continent. This was so interesting to see and player studio videos with the chi ray that were hilarious i miss this content a lot so i hope they're gonna bring it back honestly rel could do some live stream just with his phone and people would be happy but i'm sure they're gonna want to do it like great the freaking stream and three screens and two people stammering so next rest assured the future of planetside is very much at the top of our mind here yes what and the expectations for a true sequel are as expected astronomical planetside 3 planetside 3 maybe the establishment of Rock Planet Games provides a runway and opportunity for us to deliver our vision for Planetside 3, but the discussion will happen in due time. Until then, we have a lot of great stuff in store for Planetside 2. Cool! On behalf of the entire Rogue Team Planet, thank you. We look forward to having you join us on our journey. We define our future. We are Rock Planet Games and D Sites, Iron Sites, head of Rock Planet Games, executive producer, Planetside franchise. Honestly, very nice text. It gives me quite a lot of hope. It's nice to hear them officially say that they're now focusing on Planetside. And we know Planetside is uh, the real Planetside that we love, the MMO FPS. Not Planetside Arena because it has been shut down. I always thought that MMOs were the future of gaming. And there's only one MMO FPS on the market right now and it's Planetside 2. So this is why I stick to this game. I couldn't find any other game that bring me the same feelings as zerging with a group and coordinating with the platoon and jumping around shotgunning people. So I'm really curious to see what they have in store for Planetside 2. They have been very discreet in the last live stream that I found uh, 
Not, not that interesting, except for the, the sanctuary, because they showcased a lot of NSO stuff that uh, I, I don't have access to, so I wasn't very interested. But I know they have much more epic stuff coming. So, Rock Planet Games, if you really c listen to the community, I've put all the suggestions I have to improve Planet Side 2 in a series of videos. I'm gonna put the playlist here, and in the comments of these videos, the community has been posting their suggestions too. Something I really look forward to is the improvement to the leadership system. To make leadership more rewarding. I'm really tired of Indar side and the uh, Chia Eloy side 24-7 so a new continent would be great. Two would be awesome. Esamir needs more lattice links. It's too constricted and the fights always end up at the same time. Please fix this. And apart from that I'll keep playing Planetside 2 and post my impression of your work. Thanks again for the epic game. Stay epic Rock Planet games. Bye bye my friends. Gave birth to your whole style and fail, I do it fail. Now I'm fucking paid. Dominating right now.